Wilson. He has his PhD in Egyptology. He is best known for his participation with Sheikh Antadia in the conference on the peopling of ancient Egypt and the deciphering of the Noric script. As we saw talking about Sudan, they talked about the Noretic script. He has many books that he has published, the latest of them being African Philosophy, an excellent book, and he is currently a professor at San Francisco State University. Please join me in giving an ASCAP welcome to Dr. Giafalo Vega. Thank you, America. Okay, let's have it. Yes. What is the transparency? Um, they're right here. What is the? And I need Greg help. Yes. Or Mario, yes. Always the team. <laughs> you can sit here. So maybe there is a light eh? to, to measure. Yeah. Ah, it's there, right? They can see, eh? So the people can see in here. Yeah, it's more beautiful. So Otep. Otep. Uh, thank you, President El Queen Zinga. And everyone. Of course, we keep always uh, to do well. We must uh, keep a link with our uh, colleagues. You are no longer with us physically, but they're still with us. Like uh, Dr. Sheikh Antadio. Dr. Uh, John Harry Clark, and uh, Jake, Esa, Ank Mira, yeah. Roberts, yeah. All, all of them, they're still with us, you see. Right. This does, this make her more, even more strong. Right. Because what we do is question of responsibility. It's not a joke, it's a responsibility for us, for our race, for our people, for even for humanity. Yeah. Yeah. So I try to, not to lecture, really, but to show something very quickly. Uh, the most difficult thing to do in life, you know, in uh, creativity, in history, uh, is a script. The writing, to invent a writing is very difficult to do. It's the most difficult thing to do. Yeah, to have your own writing in life, to write your own language with your own writing come from you. It's almost impossible to do that. This is why Europe, they don't have their own writing. Right. Yeah, yes, you see. Even the Greek alphabet is not from Greeks. Yes. Even what you call a Roman alphabet, A, B, C, D, is not from Rome. It's not their own invention. Yeah. Now we call that A, B, C, or A, B, C. Even, it doesn't mean even what? Why you say A? Which the meaning of A or B came from where? Does it mean what? I mean, why does it mean nothing? Because we came, we came from somebody else. <laughs> yeah, it's meaningful for them, but when you copy, you drop the meaning. It became just A, B, C. So I will, this, at the same time, they say Africa is the cradle of humanity. That means uh, as homo sapiens, as homo, that's physically, biologically speaking. But at the same time, if the homo sapiens start in Africa, so he has a brain, has a thinking, he questions the cosmos himself, what is life, what is a death, what I must to do. So that thing starts in Africa too, yeah. with homo sapiens. You don't just live like that in a bush. It has a question because you have the same brain even now. So the same universe, the same nature. So basically the same questions. The answer can change, but you have basically the same question because you have the same equipment and you have the same universe. So Africa is not just the cradle of uh, many things, mathematics, but I will show that Africa is also the cradle of a writing system. 
this usually, the, we don't talk that too much about that. Because to have your own script, to write your own language, it's almost impossible to do that. Even the Russian alphabet is not their alphabet. Yeah, it's a Greek alphabet. But the Greek alphabet is not from Greece. It's from a Phoenician. Phoenician's alphabet is not from Phoenician people either. <laughs> you see? This is a, is a known, but we never focus on that. But you have a script everywhere on the continent, not just the Nan Valley, Meriti, Nubia, Somalia script, Kemet, but everywhere on the continent. But we don't do research enough. Yes. Because people doesn't want to do that. They know that is the most difficult thing to do. So we don't want to study that. If, we, if African people, they don't study, we don't study either. They must do their own job. So we must study. It's very difficult to invent a script in the world. Yeah. It's almost impossible to do that. It's more easier to borrow. <laughs> yes. It's more easier. It's the most difficult to do. So I will try to, uh, to this is why my lecture is the Africa is the cradle of writing. Yes, we just uh, go quickly. So, yes, like uh, Anderson and Manu's uh, brother who lectured before me, in fact, we never make separation between Kemet and Nubia. You see, they're almost the same, they're the same country. It was the vision from antiquity. For Greece, for Greek people, for them, the Nine Valley was one valley, including Kemet and Nubia. It was the same country for them. But from the 17th century, Western scholarship makes separation. Because uh, Nubia can belong to black people, to Negroes, but uh, Kemet is kind of uh, Mediterranean brown race, uh, Amid, something like that, because it's difficult in my mind. Uh, to give a pyramid or bellisk or mummies to, 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 to slaves, you see. It was, so they changed the paradigm. But in antiquity, it was not like that. The paradigm was uh, Nubia is, uh, and Kemet is black country. It's African country. But they changed that from the 17th century to now. This is why we struggle. This is why we have a symposium. But it, it no, there is no need for a symposium, really. <laughs> but we must struggle symposium now. But in antiquity, it was not symposium. When we do that, they call you foolish. This is obvious. Why want to make a symposium? <laughs> Next. Do fast. I'll follow you. Have a seat. Yes. So this also, uh, Kemet has a lot of influence. They're the same country with New Kemet and Nubia, or the same. Uh, uh, ensemble, the same complex of culture. But uh, Kemet give also influence also East, uh, what they call Near East. But they're not the same civilization. You see, they make the difference. Now they want to bring Kemet more from uh, East region than from African region. Yes, yeah, do you see? But in fact, Kemet is here. This is a Kemet, the same country, Nubia. And this influence all these civilization. Chief in writing, in spirituality, in uh, papyrus, even paper. You don't, they, they, they wrote here with, uh, with a clay. You don't travel with a lot of a clay, it's too heavy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Kemet, they write with a papyrus. So you have uh, Greek papyrus, Roman papyrus, everybody in antiquity used Egyptian papyrus. Yeah, it was beautiful support to write. It was not a clay. Even the support of a writing, it came from Kemet, what you call papyrus. If it will be no, no Egyptian papyrus, it will be no, really, no Greek philosophy. It will be lost. It will be no Roman, uh, uh, it will be lost, of course, even medieval age, because there was no paper by that time. So they use Egyptian papyrus. Yes. Yes? I follow, Greg, your uh, rhythm. More you do, more I, I follow. So what I want to show, uh, first let's have some basic understanding of some words. We use them, but sometimes it's difficult to explain them. The more we use them, more we don't know. So what do we mean by a language? To have a good definition of what we mean a language. 
The same definition we apply for English, for French, for Yoruba, for Zulu, for Chinese. It's the same language. What do you mean by language? Language is just a, a voice sound. That's all. If your voice sound makes sense, you listen, you understand the language. But if I say, Bini Ibogo, it's just a sound for you. That's I mean, I worry you in my language. But since you don't know my language, it's just a voice sound, Ibogo. Yes, you see? If you know the language, the sound, voice sound means something to you because involve uh, uh, involve many things and express express your thought and your feeling in a society because you don't find a, a, any human society must have a basic language how to communicate if you don't have a language so language is social institution yeah if you don't have a so there is no language there is no society without a language even now, even the past, everywhere in the mountain, in Africa, everywhere is a requirement. If you have a society, automatically you have a language. And your language is not above another language. English is not above Portuguese. Uh, English is not above German. Because they are the same function to communicate. <laughs> if I communicate with Maya, with Chinese, is enough. I don't want to communicate in, a China, in a China with Spanish. Nobody will understand. <laughs> so we, we, they, they play the same role, the same function in society, to communicate uh, uh, thoughts and feelings, basically. So that you can regulate in society. That is enough. When they talk Yoruba or Ibo or Aka or Tu, it's enough. The, the English is not above uh, Aka or Tu. They're the same, the same level. So we believe that uh, because maybe you have many books on, uh, on literature, many books, uh, the language is above. No, this is a creativity for the people who speak the language. But the language search is not above some other language. It's the same. Yes. If you produce more in English, but they respect more your language because we read books to have information. But, but if you don't produce, in your language, but nobody cares too much about Zulu or something like that. There is no literature there. But it doesn't mean that it's inferior. Yeah. You know, society is the same. When I say sister in English, la sorella, how the sister is not uh, more beautiful than a uh, sir in French, yeah. or bola in Lingala, or kana in Lingala. When I say kana, that doesn't mean my sister. When you say sister, that doesn't mean the same thing. It's not above. English is sister, not above French is sir. It's the same function. So we believe that because of our condition, we believe that we are inferior. We speak uh, monkey's language, primitive language, something. This anthropology is racism. It's ideology. There is no pagan language. You So you want to give the language baptism in the Mississippi? <laughs> that will do. To, to put a creole? <laughs> Uh, with a nice white uh, robe and in the Mississippi to, uh, to give uh, Christianity to Creole. It's a language, you see? So now, so this is the language. It's just the thought and feelings in society. This is the role to communicate in society. And then what you mean is a script? A script is more difficult to do. It's, more, uh, it's, it's not a given. The, na the language is almost a given. We, we, even a kind of uh, monkeys, uh, they have a kind of communication. Even fish, they have a kind of communication. It's a kind of a mess. We must uh, talk. We must communicate in some way. But a script, we don't need to, to, to uh, if we communicate, I don't need to write what I want to tell you. Yeah. It's, there is no need to write. There is a need to, to speak, to communicate. There is no need to write what you want to tell me. You just uh, tell everybody's oral tradition. It's enough. You speak. You don't have to write. So to, to write is your own decision. To write is what? It's more difficult because when I speak, I have a sound. You don't see them. So when you want to write them, I must see them. When I say ah, you don't see, or a, eh, you don't see a, eh, you have just the sound. But how do you write the sound A? What's your convention to write that? So you draw something like this. 
You see the difference. So the script is to, to represent visually the sound of a language. So it's more complex. It's more complex. So I can present a bird. That's mean where I can do uh, A, B, C. I can do alphabet. So the, the script is not the alphabet. The script is just the way you write, you agree with your symbol to express visually your sound language. That's all. It, it, you can use hieroglyphics, you can use a Chinese character, you can use a English alphabet. It doesn't matter. The thing that you express, you, you make more visual the sound of a language. Yes. And this is more difficult to do. It's not everybody in the society. You don't, uh, you don't uh, go to school to learn English when you are a baby. You, you listen to your father and mother, and you will know. But to write, you must go to school. It's a convention. It's more difficult. It's a group. It's initiation, what you call scribe. It's a scholar business. It can be priest and priestess who make this invention. It can be motep. It can be like, not everyone. Not everyone can master the writing, even in Greece. Yes. I can speak Medunation, but I don't have to write it Medunation. I can speak English. Some people in Nasi they don't know how to write even their name in English. They're white. They never know. They don't know how to write. They're illiterate. They say we have statistics. Even in French, they, in France, they don't know how to write in a village. They speak French, but I write. They say, I don't know. I don't, I don't have the master of the character A, B, C, D. You see? So you must learn. You need some group of initiation, some priest, priest some kind of a, a group, a scholar will say, look, let, why, why not like this uh, to figure out our sound language? So the script is more difficult than the language to do. This is why I speak easily my language, but script we don't do. There is no script in Greece. There is no script in the Western, the Europe, no script. For, they don't use their own script. They didn't invent no one single script. Yes. They don't have script. Why they don't use that? They use the Russian alphabet. It's a Greek alphabet. It's known. The, the, the A, B, C, D, what you call it's not an Anglo-Saxon alphabet. It came from Rome because of the colonization by by Roman Empire. That's all. So they didn't have their own script. The script is difficult to do. So uh, this one, we need to see. Uh, yes, yeah, so you have all kind of a system for writing, you see. But their purpose is the same. I can use a papyrus. I can use a clay. I can use a pen. I can use a, a scissor. I can use anything to write. It doesn't matter. We believe that everybody must use the paper. But the paper is not even a European invention, it's Chinese. <laughs> yes. Even to print, to print the Bible. It came from China, the printing. It was a Gutenberg who tried to print the Bible for the first time. But the, the, Europe is almost empty of invention. <laughs> of a basic, basic. This is clear, it's not to, to dominate, it's not to ego or ideology is a historical fact. Yes, you can date, give me the date of their invention. Name me one paper invention. Where in Rome? Where in Greece? There is no fact. So it's a question of history. Next. Yes, you can drop this so it can be more easy. So, uh, you have uh, Egyptian system. Eh? Yeah, you have the, so I'll give you the measure, the uh, script in the word very quickly. So you have Egyptian system. It's uh, the most old system in the world. It's uh, 3,500 BC. It's the oldest script in the world, Egyptian world. This is why we can say Egyptian, Kemet is the cradle of writing because this is the date. There is no date like that before Kemet. Where? You want to know? So far, no. You see? So Kemet, you have uh, their own invention. They did that. Uh, not just a pyramid. You see, we know Kemet by pyramid, 
obelisk, mummies, like this, like that. But we, we forgot that they make the most crucial invention in the world. Yes, it's a writing. And this writing will give Hebrew writing, Phoenician writing, Greek writing, Roman writing, English writing, French writing. You see? If there was no Egyptian script, there will be no, no Greek alphabet. It's a crucial. It's more than obelisk or pyramid. It's more than that. It's a crucial. So it's the, the, the base of, a, of a civilization, of a written civilization. Not just oral civilization, the base, the foundation of a written civilization. You write your thought, you write your script, you write your Bible, you write your uh, Optaptep, Maxi, to write, to write what you think, to write your philosophy, your mathematics, your science, to have this decision to write something down so it can stay from his legacy. He came from Kemet, the first to think that, you see? So it's a crucial. Now, after that, this uh, script uh, is all kind of script. You can be, they call that sometimes a pictograph, something like that. Of course, you made design first, and then you have evolution. So anyhow, you have the one script, the Sumerian script. It's very, uh, it's uh, at least uh, 200 years after Kemet. Now, in books, they want to present always Sumerian before, but, but even now, nobody know, knows how to read the Sumerian script. So uh, yes, I say, why you pretend to do that before? Maybe it's not a language. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the script is not to, is not to design. To, to, the script is to represent the sound of a language. Yeah, so which language? If you don't tell me the language, just uh, write, it's a symbol. It's a sign, it's not a language, not a script. Script must be the representation of a language, of the sound of a language. So, that if, so when I know them, I read, I know the language. Yes. But if you don't know the, the, the meaning of so why do you call that script even? You see? So in fact, there is no, uh, but any, uh, they say Sumeria, but nobody knows how to read. So but OK, let's guess that is a language. Let's agree. But any uh, is not older than Kemet. You have a new that. Date now, they did that themselves. Now you have uh, in uh, Crete, in Greece, they have their own script also, called linear A and B. You see, this one, linear A, now nobody can read that. Yes. You can read, but you don't know the language. But linear B, you can read because it's a, it's a Greek, old, old, old Greece, Mycenaean Greek, you can read that. So, but it's, a, it's almost the time of. Uh, the Queen Hatshepsut in Kemet. Yes, when they have an invention of a script in Greece by them, their own script, it's almost the time of a Queen Hatshepsut in Kemet. She's almost late. Yeah, it's the new kingdom. So with the middle kingdom, old kingdom, and before that. So it was very young when they did that, very young. And why Greek, they didn't use their own script? Why they didn't use their own script? Uh, so it was not effective. <laughs> and they don't have a lot of documentation either. They remain, I don't a lot. And, but the date is always after, after Kemet. And then you have uh, the Phoenician script. You can have the date. The Phoenician script, the so-called Phoenician script, is almost uh, the time of uh, even after uh, after King Tutankhamun. He's young, very young. So he's a very young it's, it's a script. But he came from, uh, you see, the first script, they found that in uh, Kemet, in fact. So they called that a Ka Canaanian script to, to say that he came from Syria. They give the name. But in fact, he's not come from Syria, he came from Kemet. Yes, it's a fact. I will show you the picture itself. It came from Kemet. So this one also, this kind of script, uh, which script? Uh, huh? uh, Aramaic is also kind of a sem Semitic or Semat uh, script. Uh, it came from Phoenicia, like Hebrew, came from Phoenicia. So it's very young. Aramaic is a, 
the language when Jesus was in life, he didn't speak Hebrew. Jesus speak uh, Aramaic language. Yes. So this is a kind of Hebrew too. So this the script is very young. You can see the date. It's very young script. And this one is uh, which script? Uh, Ar 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 Aramaic. Yeah. It's the script is very young. That will give uh, birth to Hebrew script. Yes, and, and the Hebrew will change too. Now they change. They don't write a square script. Now they try to change with a Zionist movement, you see, to make it more easier. And then you have a Greek alphabet, the so-called Greek alphabet. A Greek alphabet is a borrowing from a Phoenician. And you can have the date in the corner. It's very young script too, uh, because uh, uh, before Homer, with the literature before Homer. You have a Greek, Greek people live before Homer with the script. What they did, they didn't know how to write. So it's a loss. It was oral tradition, it's a loss. But they try uh, to, to write with Homer. That's mean uh, uh, almost uh, 18th century BC, not before. Yes, it's a very young civilization. And it's a borrowing from uh, Phoenicia. The, when we say borrowing, even when you know the Phoenician people, that's Lebanon, they have their own Bible written by the, the priest called Beroz. So the name of the Bible is Saint Cognaton. So there is an their language. It's written there that our script came from Kemet. It's written. Yes, by themselves. So it's not fiction. Yeah. But it's difficult to find the, the so called uh, Soconiaton Bible. Go to internet, Soconiaton Bible, it's difficult to find because they hide information always. You see, yes. And then you have from Greece, alphabet, it became more easier. You, you have also Latin alphabet. And Latin alphabet will be Rome. Since Rome is the, the Roman Empire, it will spread the writing in uh, Spain, in uh, Portugal, uh, Iberia, in uh, Gaulish countries, France, uh, in Germany, Anglo-Saxon, they, they don't have their own script. So Western civilization has a script from, uh, from Roma, and Roman from Latin, Latin from uh, Greece, Greece from Phoenician, Phoenician from Kemet. Yes, even Gardiner said that when we use A, B, C, D, we still use uh, Egyptian script. It's said by Gardiner. Not in his grammar, he has a paper in a journal for Egyptian archaeology. It's written by Gardiner. He said when we use A, B, C, D, we still use Egyptian script. A true time and space, of course. Things change. So this is the first script, you see. Uh, so they say, yes, it's design. No, it's a made to nature. Three th over 3,000 BC is made to nature. Because when you have uh, the bird is the same, and you have uh, the snake, uh, you have the snake, and you have the symbol of the mountain. So the snake is a Jew, you know that. And the mountain is a Jew. So they use the phonetic complement before. That usually they use after. So they use before. So I read the Jew. Jew is a mountain. Mountain of what? Of light. So it's a uh, Manu Ampim. That's Manu. That means the mountain of light, <laughs> of east. <laughs> it does mean east. When I say East in Medunature, I say Manu. But I don't say Ampir, but Manu at least. <laughs> the first part is exactly when light comes. This is what Dr. Professor Manu Ampir, he said always, let's do first end information to have more light, to have more precision. And he's right. He followed the, the each, each name is on destiny. Yes, Obenga, I have my destiny. Diop is destiny. The name tells my destiny. So you must fulfill your, uh, you must know the meaning of your name so you fulfill your, uh, your chance in this life. So we can read this first Medunetia. It is not a mystery. They found that in Abydos by a German guy, uh, uh, Gunther Dry, who found that. So it's a, it's a fact. Next. So yes, quickly. So, so this is the chart. The system, Egyptian system of writing. He gives birth to Merutic script. Uh, when you have uh, 
because meritic script I can write the meritic language with two script. I can use medu nature, what you know, to write with some, but sometimes with not the same value, phonetic value, not the same meaning either, but the same symbol I can use. I can use also more cursive, what is more known like meritic script. Uh, so I can use this as a, most of them came from demotic, uh, Egyptian demotic. So this is why we read, we read merotic, we read, because we know the, the sound of this. But when you read, eh, uh, you can read my name or Benga, because it's written with a symbol known by you. But you don't know the meaning of Benga, because you don't know the language. Yes, so we can read. The meritic, because we know the meaning, the, the phonetic value, the sound value of the symbols. So we try to read. But what you read? I don't know. So it's not the decipherment of the script, but the decipherment of the language. So they try to do that, like Anderson said, in Paris, Jean Leclerc. They try to, with Canadian people, German, they try to do that with computer. But I say, look, I don't know. <laughs> Which kind of a computer will invent a human language? <laughs> yes, it's like that. Yes. I said to Leclerc, I say, yes, but we try. You try what? <laughs> but say what you want there. I say, look, since we don't know the language, two things. We make excavation, maybe we'll find uh, Rosetta Stone, something like that, right. bilingual text. But maybe, inshallah. If you don't find, the best thing is to, have to put money to make a systematic survey of Sudan. Systematic, and you compare. You will find a language close to, Mer to Meritic. Yes. And from there, you can try to, to guess. Because you need the language. Without the Coptic, Champlain will never decipher your Kemet language. He was a Kem Coptic who helped him. Not just the Rosetta Stone, but it was basically the knowledge of Coptic. Because when you read Coptic, you say, okay, I know Coptic, but Coptic is Egyptian. Ah, yes, it makes more sense. It's like that. So I say, Lou, do that. They don't want to do a lot of money. People fight there, Darfur, like this. They don't want to go. Okay, fine. But it's, uh, since then, they're even tired. Because Le Clan, when you go to his, uh, his uh, home, but he has a... Uh, Almost all texts in, uh, in Merotic. He said the day they will find the, how to decipher the language, it will be the best scholar in the world because he has a, a lot, a lot of, of texts everywhere in his living room. Uh, he he tried to, all the writing texts, he tried to keep them in order so when they make invention, he will just publish. I say, you will wait. <laughs> yeah. So this one, uh, this is a script found in Sina, and this is uh, the beginning of a Phoenician script, not in Phoenicia, Lebanon, but in Kemet. This is the writing. So what they, they, but they don't want to call that Sinaitic, they want to call it Canaanite language, you see? You don't find things in Los Angeles, but you say it came from Los Angeles. <laughs> this is the way they do. Yes, to make confusion, if you don't know, you believe. So this, uh, yes, because you are very far, you can, you can push more here yeah, to have a light. Yes, more close here. So the, 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 the chart, you see, you have uh, Medu Nature, I believe, Medu Nature, you have uh, Phoenician script, and you have a uh, Greek script. Uh, so you can draw the chart. Came from, uh, from Kemet, you have the Phoenician, and from this you have Hebrew, you have uh, no, Greek, and uh, even Roman, and then your H. Because the question, you say A, B, C, D, E, that mean what even? <laughs> you see? But when we say A, he was uh, Aleph. He was Aleph in Phoenicia. Aleph, Aleph means ox. Yes. When we say B uh, or B in uh, Hebrew, in uh, Phoenicia, uh, but in uh, Phoenicia, when they start, uh, the B is for bet, beta, uh, bet. Bet means house. 
You see, yes. And you have said delta, uh, gamma. So, so Western civilization, Roman alphabet, they just keep the first, the first. Uh, 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 when I say Aleph, they just keep A. When I say beta or bet, they keep just B. When I say gimel, they just keep a G. When I say something like that, they keep just the first, the first symbol of the world. This word doesn't mean nothing in French or in English. Yeah, we just say A, B, C, D. That means what? We don't know? Of course you don't know, because you make abbreviation. It's not A, a, a is Aleph. It's not a B, it's a Beta. You make just abbreviation. This word doesn't mean no sense, you see? So even it's more poor, culturally speaking. It's more poor. Yeah, because you borrow, you don't want to be disturbed. You take the most easier thing to do. Yes, it's a borrowing. But your, yourself is more painful. You must do that, this, you make mistake, you came back. It's more painful to, to invent your own writing. But when you copy from me, when I copy from you, well, I see it's done already, the more difficult. Let me drop what is not necessary. See? This why is even poor. So one guy, one British guy, Taylor, 19th century, he said, look, this thing is real because let's take M. The owl, you know that in, K in Kemet, yeah, the bird here. Yeah. You see the bird, it's M in Kemet, owl. So the, you can show the evolution of this symbol in all script. Yeah, this is the chart, but I don't know if you see well. Uh, uh, the, this is a crucial, the chart, he did that. So you can see how the Egyptian symbol gave birth to all these symbols. What you call M or Noon or Arabic, like it came from this symbol. They can draw a chart and it makes sense. Not just for one symbol, it did for all, all, most of them. So I can show you. You see? Yes, so it's a reality. It's a, the, you give birth to the most difficult thing, not just human being or most sapiens. You say, look, I teach you how to write your own language. I teach you too. It's a crucial. If no writing, it will be no civilization. How do you can read uh, Thomas d'Aquin or Descartes or the, the Bible if you don't have script? How the Reverend Bird can read if there is no script, if it was not written, if they didn't borrow a script from your own ancestor? Yeah. Now you pay them credit, but they must pay you credit. They borrow from Kemet. Yes, so this is one of the, uh, the Phoenician alphabet. You see, it makes more sense. So their Aleph is like this. So they don't say A, B, C, D. They say Aleph, Bet, Gimel, something like that. Dale, Delta, Dale. So you just keep the D, you don't say Dale. This is why we have A, B, C, D. That's making no sense even. Nobody could never question that. Why we call this thing A, B, C, D? <laughs> Nobody will never question for centuries. Eh? Black studies, you question. Yeah. So everything you drink, drink, soft drink, everything, no questioning. Eh? ABC doesn't make it come from here. Yes. You see, this one is a Phoenician, uh, is Hebrew. This is Hebrew. Now they don't write like this. They change because it's more complex to write. So they make more soft with the, the when they, they build the Israel state. They make a Renaissance, Zionist movement. So they try to make to simplify their own script. So we, when you push to light here, people will see maybe more. Yes, you see, it's beautiful. So you must learn this business. We must study what you call classical study. Is all these things. So you can read by yourself. You can have your own judgment. You can know by yourself, and then you can discuss. If you know from me, I don't tell you everything. These are what we must change 21st century. We must build scholarship. We must build scholarship by all means. If not, we'll drink always. We'll end complaining, complaining, complaining. Uh, eh? White supremacy. There is no, nobody said that in the world. Chinese, they never say white supremacy. When I say white supremacy, you imply black inferiority. It's linked. Eh? I know that they have power, they don't like you, they kill you, they do like this, but build your power, they will respect. If you cry, they say, okay, it's good for crying. 
Yes, they want some people can face them. You do negative campaign, if you don't reply, they will continue. If you say, I do negative campaign, they will stop. They behave like that. They're not so. They're not supreme beings. Even Mao Zedong, they say, the captain is a is a, a, a tiger. Is a tiger on paper. A paper tiger. It's not a real tiger. Don't be afraid. But for a black, became white supremacy. When Mao Zedong called that a paper tiger, is a zero. Huh? I'm not afraid. They do nuclear weapons. We can do. They have satellites we can do. They have nuclear bombs, we do the same. Yeah, so what? Yeah. They send their students here. You study, you go back to China, you build. Japanese, two nuclear bombs. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Destroy the country for one week. Yes. 40, in August, 1945, August. One week, two nuclear bombs. Japanese, they didn't cry. They say, okay, that's too much, maybe. <laughs> so let's figure out. So they say, we must uh, destroy uh, the uh, 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 so American market. Everybody has a Toyota, Mitsubishi, a Shira, yes. <laughs> How do you can sell? You, you do your car in your country, Ghana, and you bring a car, you sell in United States, you destroy Ford, uh, Buick, uh, Cadillac, you must be a small country, eh? less bigger than uh, Dominguez Hill University. It's a four hill, four uh, island, that's all. Japan, it's not big. But they say, no, look, don't cry, let's do these things. Eh? Bad black, they say never again, <laughs> and again, it start again. <laughs> never, when you say never again, well, what you do to say never again? Uh, just a word, okay. Your rhetoric, okay, you wait. We have a solution. We kill you. We kill Lumumba. We put a jail, Mandela in jail. We, de we kill K King. We kill Malcolm X. We kill Black Panther. We destroy. Because in our gene to destroy. Not just you, even the nature we destroy. Even the water I drink, I destroy. Make pollution. It's our genes to destroy. It's like that. So we believe that love me. I don't love you or no, please love me. I, I hate you. I hate you. Do yourself. No, please, please. Huh? No, it's enough. If you want the respect, you must build Africa. Huh? Yes. Uh, quickly, if you have time for five minutes. Fifteen. <laughs> but the last one, yes, start from Delany, yeah, quickly. Five, five, five pictures, yes. So, yes, uh, look, bring light. Martin Delany, he was the guy who studied Medunyajur first in the United States. So we don't even know. He's the first Egyptologist. Mario has a paper on this thing. We published that in Ang. He has the, he's the first, because I read. Uh, when I read the first time, I did, well, maybe it's a joke. I see newspaper. <laughs> but uh, with, when I read my I say, let me go back. But uh, he knew Medu nature. Uh -huh. Yes. He knew uh, correct, correct Medu nature. So I don't know how he did. Because I check, I check. He knew Champollion Grammar. Wow. He gave references. Yes? Yes. So, yeah, so we, less, we, we can do less than him. Huh? Yes. You see, when we say that this hieroglyphic doesn't mean not in his book, huh? it seems something crazy. Well, come here. For example, the name uh, Ren Ek, your name. But in the text, the pyramid is written, the rain is written like this exactly. That means the rain has a determinative of a cartouche. It's written like that in the pyramid text. And now we write just rain, we fight just the mouth and the water, rain name. But in the pyramid text, it's written with the cartouche as a determinative. Delania has that. That means so your name is correct. 
Yes, it's correct. <laughs> yes, next. So let, this is why Jake built the, uh, the school of Chicago to teach Medu nature. You don't escape. If there is no Medu nature, there will be no science. This is a tree bird. Uh, but when they say tree, tree. Three is more than two. <laughs> <laughs> that means what? You may say do things in a group. What you group, group study. When you do by yourself, when you do alone, this will apply. When I came here, teach temple with Dr. Alif Masante, okay, fine. But I say no. Alone, it doesn't work. I apply the principle. So you build Mario, you build Velitia, you build Greg, you build Troy Allen. At least four. Now, I can dance. <laughs> it's a technique, don't do it alone. This is the text, it's a beautiful text. They say that Ra, his name, the guy, his name is the, he's a man, but he's a treasure. But he has the, the name of the Ramses' second sister, Tia. Uh, so he say the, the Ra lives and the tortoise is dead. Uh, so, United is the corpse with the earth. So united are the bones of, the, of this guy here. You see, to be, to, be, to be buried, we bury with the funeral home. We go there is over. But United States, you know, in a Kemet, what we call burial, funeral, no, they must do things so you can be unified with the earth. The earth being the god the Geb. So you can be resurrected again. So the funeral not just to bury somebody, but they bury. For there is a uni unity, you and the earth. So when you read Medu Nature, you have the meaning of the text. You can uh, do the spirituality is different. That will bury your funeral. That means what? They bury you. You have a, a grave, they put you, okay, bye-bye, you have some flowers, even artificial flowers, okay, you said that? Yeah. yeah, because the real one is too costly. Yes, yeah. you don't spend money for death, for death. But Kemi, they say, you, your body, your corpse must be unified, to be united with the earth. This is the condition of your resurrection, because the earth is a god, is a gab. Yes, and this text too, when you read, eh, uh, when uh, uh, President French, François Mitterrand died, he never went to church, or he was baptized. When he, he died, all, all President French must go for their funeral to Notre Dame de Paris, the church in Paris. So the cardinal, he, he spoke, he made a speech, he said Mitterrand is dead, but I hope, I hope that Angels will open his eyes so he will see the light. But he's here. He's here. Eh? He's here. You see? You see, because you make the contrary. But you see, this man is here, he's written. Eh? When, ek, eh? irti, fi. That's me, the, the God. Gab, open your eyes. You see the two eyes here. You don't see that? And uh, his eyes is F. For now. Open. He's here. Open. You determinate of a door. Open. Wound is open. You see? So when he said that, uh, yeah, it was so beautiful. No. You are dead. We pray, God. So they open your eyes so you can see the light. This came from you. Is written thousand, thousand years and said by Isis, by Aset, the sister Aset who said that. Yeah. To open your eyes so you can see the light. Yeah. This is the ceremony we did for Esa in, in the Valley of the King. Yeah. It was like that. You must know the culture. You don't just go to Nine Valley, the Valley of the King. <laughs> you must pray like they did. You must know their culture. So I pray, Amunra, open his eyes, we can see you. Yes, yes. It was like that. 
And these also, uh, the Isis, they see many things to do. He's talking about the uh, Queen Hatshepsut. He said Hatshepsut like this, like this. And the end, you don't see on top here. Yes, this is the text, you see. Uh, this is the text. Uh, the, uh, I'm your sister, me, Isis, Isis, I'm your sister. So Isis said the Queen Hatshepsut, I'm your sister. It's written. You see the link between God and goddess and human beings. I say, you are my sister. It's written here. It's written here. You are my sister. Sister of me. I say, you are my sister. Don't worry, you are my sister. This is why we bring that the, the son of God, the, the virgin, this kind of a family. We, we give, they give the same paradigm. So we, we call Jesus the son of God, the wisdom man. Yes. But we follow the Egyptian paradigm because this is a kind of virgin Mary. Mary. He say, you are Chepsut, you are my sister. You are my sister. You have the same blood. You have the same family. You are goddess too. You are God. Now we call them queen and queen and kings. They're more than kings and queens. They're goddesses and gods. It's more than kings and queens. When we say king and queen, it's more sexuality business. But when we say you are a god and goddess, it's more spiritual business. But we follow our environment. When we talk about sexuality, nobody will pay attention. This is why we pollute everything. Yes, because we follow the mainstream. So come here. This is crucial too. No, push. I want to show the text here. Yes. So when we say that, we call that a negative uh, confession. But it makes no sense. How you can say <laughs> negative confession? <laughs> or declaration of innocence, innocence. We copy. We make wrong. It's an insult to Egyptian civilization. We must read the text and say the, the god Anubis is a, try to, to put the balance in order. What he say? It's written here. It's written, a uh, uh, word said by him, by Anipu. So put your art on the balance. Is, if the balance is in order, put your art. Put yourself, your art on the balance because the balance is ready now. I fix the balance, so you put your art. So Western civilization does uh, know thyself, know yourself. How you can know yourself? May the nature say, judge yourself. It's written. Things are in order. I don't judge you. God is not so cruel to judge people. We change completely Egyptian spirituality. Judge yourself. Why? You have a reason. You have a will. You have desire. You have the, the sense of responsibility in this earth. Judge yourself then. Judge yourself. Don't say, God, just punish me. God will be so weak to punish you. It will be a weakness from him. Judge yourself. I give you everything. I have to think. I have to make good judgment. So judge yourself. You see? There is a more the, the different. You have a more consciousness. The levet, you must ascend always. You must always be perfect. So you can judge yourself well. Is you? When I grade A, student, you give me a C. I said, I don't give you C? <laughs> why? why? <laughs> for what? For what? For what reason I give you C? When I read yourself, you judge the paper like it is. You say, Benga, I want a C. <laughs> I say it's a pedagogy. No, I'm not a cruel. So I'm like this. This one I love, I give A. This one I hate, I give B. No. <laughs> this is not a bad, the bad pedagogy. I give a quiz. We have all information. 
you can study, you have a will, you want to succeed or not. So you give me paper, I read. So I, I said, he judged himself badly. <laughs> Next. Next. The last word. Things became more friendly, no? Yeah, I say it's not to me, you do a good paper. It's not to me. So if things became, they don't shoot you then. It became, <laughs> yeah, it became, uh, well, the last by this queen is uh, crucial. This is the last trans transparencies. <laughs> huh? It's the last, no? The, the last. <laughs> it's a crucial, crucial, this paper. It's a huge text, many lines. On the top, you have a, King Seti, and with the son, you, know, you don't see that here. With Ramses, the son, they pray Osiris, Usire, and uh, Isis, Aset, and Eru, Horus. So this is the first. And then you have a text, maybe 30 uh, lines. The text is in the Belgian now, museum. This is why it's difficult to find. So when we, I went there, I said, ah, this beautiful text is uh, too long. Why they read these things? So quickly, you try to read. It was amazing. So I found something very strange. So you bring this one to light from here. Yes, yes, that's yes. Even beautiful. So when you read, the guy who read that his name is Mai or Maya, his name. So they say, the text, they say, say, say written by, say the in, by, by Maya Wuridat, is the, the only uh, excellent scribe, uh, very, is very precise, Mati is very precise, and uh, he was uh, useful, uh, come here, put this top, yeah, he was, yeah, he was uh, useful, the symbol of Ak, uh, uh, to his uh, law, his uh, neb. F, you see, F is here, Neb is here, to his Lord. Uh, doing what? Because he was in charge of this one. He was in charge of what? Uh, this is uh, crucial. I did that for Esa, you see? He was in charge of uh, Seba. Teaching. Teaching. Teaching what? MF, his majesty. So they taught the king of Kemet. He learned, he studied. Seba. This is the fold, the star, and the B. The Tiseba M. M N F. They teach him. What did they teach him what? They teach him Sesh Nature, the divine scriptures. It's written. So you go to palace, you teach the king the theology, the divine science. The pharaoh learned that. It's a seba. You see? So all time, all time, we must learn. This is why Delany, Shekandov, Henri Clark, all of them, even Luther, Malcolm X never went to school. He learned by himself. Learn. Because he learn is written there. Is written. Is written. Is a seba. You can see clearly seba. M F search nature. You see? You write. And curiously is uh, uh, the the so they give the order. This text is very beautiful. Even they say some place twice that we see Osiris is the son, the son of a nut. It's rare to find that in a text. Yes, almost important. So you have the, uh, the uh, we see here, you have uh, uh, a rule of there, and the asset. You see, the, the order he gives, and all gods, of course. So they say, yes, the, the father, the son, and the mother. So now we say, uh, the the father, the mother, and the son. They put the son in the middle, of course, because it came, is a link between you and her. Yeah, the way you play the son is not a be, it must be between you, it's the link of your love. This one, a rule is between 
has said, and we see Osiris himself. You see? To, so is a, you, we, when you learn, when we learn ourselves, like a king said he did, he bring us, you, you know this thing, come, to, come teach me too, I want to learn. Seba. Yeah. It is a majesty. So, what we can do? There is no, we must, uh, to learn, to build study group, is not to, to please something, it's like, it, it is the, the spirit of African culture. Yeah, it's not to please the Queen Zinga or Askak. We must uh, learn every day. They say that the day is so short. It's just like this, you are gone. But you must uh, learn every day. Yeah. They say that in Keme too. Learning to study, uh, to know, it was uh, crucial in Keme. This is why everything is so perfect. Because if you don't learn, how you can draw Medu nature like that. They do that every day. This is why when you go to temple, Karna, it was easy for them to do. Because they did that every day, any moment they did that. You don't do just a seat and tomorrow you do. It will not fit. So to learn, like we, we call that the African study association, study, study. Huh? ASCAC is a study. So we must build the program what we study really. You must uh, study Medu nature. If you don't study Medu nature, it's difficult to build for eternity. Sure. <laughs> 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 you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You, you want to speak? Thank you. Uh, you too. You present already? Yeah, this morning. Yeah.